What's going on, everyone? Cameron Blaze here. Welcome to week two team prep of the IPSA. I am the coach of the San Antonio Salon Dits. And this week we are taking on, I have no idea how to say his name, but we're taking on the Nuzleafs. Um, automatic, um, or Automatic, I can't, just, I'm all over the place right now. Um, go check him out. Uh, his YouTube will be in the description. And, um, if you missed last week's battle, please, please go check that out, because we are going to spoil it in 3, 2, 1. We happen to pick up a 6-0 victory against the St. Louis Swablers, and, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good way to start off the season, I suppose. Um, hopefully we can, like I said, pick up another W, but as you can see, his team is really scary. He has a lot of things that just sweep me, and it's there's really not much I can do about it. But we're going to try our best and hope we succeed. And before we go over our team, let's go over his. As we see, he has an Alakazam to start off things. Um, Alakazam is very, very scary. Base 135 special attack, 120 speed. Typically ran Sash Magic Guard. So, what was it called? Yeah, Magic Guard. Um, to ensure that it can like live hits and get two guaranteed hits off, basically, unless we have priority, which we don't have a lot of, so we got to watch out for it. Um, is relatively frail. 55 HP, 45 defense, 95 special defense. So it's not going to be 11 hits, but it's your definition of a glass cannon. To go over some of its moves, like Calm Mind, Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, Focus Blast. Um, it does get Psychic, Psych Shock, Shadow Ball, Signal Beam, Thunder Wave. So, yeah, not much this thing's going to be doing. Um, again, it can. Um, mo it's most likely going to be Sashed if it's brought, or it's going to be Life Orb, so we have to watch out for that. It could be a Calm Mind variant, so. We'll have to keep our eyes out. Up next, he has Bronzong. Very, very bulky Pokemon. 67 HP, 116 in both defenses. Um, 90, Almost 90 in attack, uh, 79 special attack, 33 speed. Very slow, so it can run Gyro Ball and hit our things like Mega Altaria. Because Mega Altaria does not handle this thing very well, especially on a rain team, which he has. Um, it doesn't have to run Heat Proofs to take Fire Blast from Mega Altaria, which is... Um, wild because he can be levitate which means he's gonna eat or he doesn't he doesn't get hit by our earthquakes and in the rain he's gonna be living the fire blast so we have to so this thing's a really good check to our megaltara so we have to watch out for that um i hundred thousand percent expect him to bring his bronze on um bronze on is as well this is just it has to come basically if it does not come i'm gonna be blown away um again it's stat wise it just matches up really good um very bulky uh does get stealth rock so uh, we gotta watch it for that up next, he has a Gramble, uh, base 120 attack, which is pretty good. Outside of that, its stats are pretty bad. Um, 90 HP, 75, does get Intimidate, so uh, its defense isn't terrible, but its special defense is pretty bad. It does get Bulk Up, it gets Play Rough, Crunch, Close Combat, Earthquake. It gets the Elemental Fangs, I think it gets the Elemental Punches and Outrage as well. Rock Slide as well. Um, Super Power, which is interesting, Wild Charge, so we do have to watch out for this. This thing is most likely going to be coming... Um, Along with Bronzong, I I almost can guarantee you he's bringing Gramble um, as his second Pokemon, so we have to watch out for that. Can be like a support set with like Kill Bell, Thunder Wave, uh, Roar, Play Rough, and our team doesn't really handle Offensive Fairy that well, if you can't really tell. Like, we don't have many swap ins outside of Excadrill, so we need to watch out for that. Um, very, like I said, um, interesting. Uh, 45 speed, so. His speed tiers are pretty interesting. He has a really he has some of his team is very fast, some of his team is very slow, so we have to watch out for that. Up next he has a Kingdra. Um whoops. Uh Kingdra base is a uh, pretty interesting. Um he has a lot of water types, if you haven't noticed yet. And um has 95 in all of its stats except for HP and speed, which is 75 HP, 85 speed. Does get swift swim, so his speed will be doubled. It does get things like Dragon Dance, it gets Draco Meteor, it can be a Crit Draw with like Sniper, he, we need to watch out for that. Um, like focus any Draco Meteor crits are going to be very, very hard to swap into. Um, if I think he's going to bring this or not, I mean there's a possibility, but um, I just, I'm not 100% on it. I could see him bringing uh, his Mega, Mega Swampert instead of this thing, but he there's a chance he can bring both. He did week one. So if he brings it, I'm not at hundred I'm not gonna say I'm hundred percent that he's gonna bring it, but I'm not like saying he's not gonna bring it if that makes sense. He does get flash cannon to hit our Mega Altaria, which is interesting. Clear spawn too, so our Mega Altaria cannot set up on this thing tip usually. So unless he if he's gonna bring that, that'd be kind of interesting. But it does get Iron Head, so or Dragon Dance Iron Head. Um gotta watch out for that. 
He also has a Ludicolo, another Swiss from Pokemon. Uh, Ludicolo is my least favorite Pokemon, so I'm not going to say a lot about it. Um, I just do not like this thing. Uh, 100 Special Defense is its only really good set outside of Swift Swim. It can be like Life Orb, it gets like Skull, Energy Ball, Giga Drain, Focus Blast. Um, I don't know if he's going to bring it or not. Uh, I want to say he won't, but there's a chance he will because it does get a Focus Blast and it can hit our T-Tar and Extra Drill, so we have to watch out for that. Um, because we can just set up the sand and just negate his watering type moves. I don't know. It can be a fake out drain punch set. I'm not sure. Um, he has a Noivern, uh, very, very vast. Um, 123 speed, 97 special attack, uh, 80s in defenses, 85 HP, 70 attack. Swapping into this thing's kind of tricky because it's typically going to be specs. It's going to have like Boom Burst, you're going to have Hurricane, Draco Meteor, and probably a coverage move. It does get Moonlight, so it does get reliably recover, reliable recovery. It gets Switcheroo, which is interesting to note. Um, can like trick our Gastrodon a specs and then just basically cripple that thing. Um, it does get like things you have U turn, Wild Charge, X Scissor. It does not get Volt Switch, which is, I don't know why I'm mentioning that. I saw the Wild Charge, so ignore the what I said. But it does get Taunt, so we can bring like a Support Noivern just to take on Gastrodon, and our, that's basically our only wall in the. In our entire team. Um, to go over his other six, he has a Politoed. Uh, every good rain team has a Politoed, and he has it. Um, 90 HP, 100 special defense, 75 defense, 75 attack, 90 special attack, 70 speed. Um, does get water absorb, but I do not expect him to bring it. Does get drizzle. Um, I 100% expect him to bring this Politoed. Does get focus blast. It gets scald. It gets haze. It gets hyper voice, hyper beam, hydro pump. I meant to say perish song. So. If he doesn't want our Altaria to set up, he can just run Parish Song. Um, Seismic Toss, Scald, you know, the usual st kind of stuff like that. It does get Rest, so it does get... Um, he ran rest, rest last week, so we need to look out for that. Um, like I said, stat-wise, it's pretty alright. Um, tip Your typical Polytoad, I guess. Uh, like I said, Water Absorb and Drizzle. Uh, he has no reason to run Damp, so... Up next, he has a Sand Slash, one of my favorite Pokemon ever, just because it's shiny. We're going to make it shiny. Yeah, just because I love it shiny. Um, really bulky, 110 defense, 100 attack, and its special defense is pretty bad. Its special attack's bad, speed bad. But it um, does get Sand Veil, so we can try to use our, our Sand against us. Same with Sand Rush. Um, so if he, he could easily bring this thing, um, just to try to counter our T-Tar. Does get Brick Break, gets Earthquake, Focus Blast, Gyro Ball, Home Claws, Knock Off, Night Slash, Potion Jab, does get Rock Slide, Stone Edge. It's another Stealth Rocker and X-Scissor. You have to watch out for that. Um, if he brings this thing, I'm going to have to watch how I use T-Tar, because if this thing is a Sand Rush variant and he sets up a Swords Dance, he can actually sweep us, which is interesting to know. But whether I think he's going to do that or not is another story, because I feel like his rank team is more important. But we'll see. Um, up next, he has a Mega Swampert. Very, very hard-hitting Pokemon. Very bulky Pokemon. The bulk on this thing is crazy, as long, along with its attack. Um, it's I love Swampert. Um, I used it pr really well in the... Uh, what's it called? Um, Super International League. Um, in the When I almost won that championship. I'm still not going to get over that, but it's whatever. Very, very bulky. Like I said, 150 attack, 70 speed, but it does get Swiss Swim. And it does have a reliable rain setter in Politoed. So this thing's going to be hitting very hard. It gets things like Earthquake, Waterfall. It gets Aqua Tail if you want to say it harder. It gets Hammer Arm to hit our um, T-Tar. It also gets Low Kick. It gets Ice Punch, Outrage, Rock Slide, Stealth Rock, Super Power, Waterfall. It, this thing can just... It gets a lot of like good moves. Um, we can, however... Uh, Celebi does do a decent job walling this thing. Like, it does resist both stabs, but it does get ice punch, so like I said, we gotta watch out for that, but, um, our Celebi should be fine. Um, up next, he has a Toxic Croak. Um, this thing is one of those things that if it sets up, we're gonna have a really tough time beating it. Um, like, either side can just sweep us, and I 100% expect him to bring it, which is the sad part, and there's really nothing I can do about that. Um, does get, like, Sword Dance, Bullet Punch, Bulk Up. Excuse me. Um, gets nasty plot, dark pulse, focus blast. It gets gunk shot, ice punch, knockoff. Um, gets power up punch, pursuit, rock slide. It gets stone edge, sucker punch. I already said that. Super fang, thunder punch, X scissor. This thing can just set up a sword dance or a nasty plot and use its diverse move pool and just sweep me because it also gets vacuum wave, which is interesting to note. Meaning, um, 
he will have, he will have priority over our Excadrill if we brought it in the sand. So um, that was a key factor of me deciding on whether I wanted Excadrill or not. Um, like I said, stat wise, 106 attack, uh, 86 defense, 83 HP, 95 speed, 65 in defenses. So it's kind of frail, but it does hit really hard if you set up with it. Up next, he has a Weavile, another really fast glass cannon. Um, 120 attack, 125 speed, 65 in defense, and 85 in special defense, 70 HP. Um, this thing's typically going to be run like Life Orb, Knock Off, Ice Shard, Icicle Crash, and most likely going to be probably pull Low Kick for our T-Tar. Um, just because if he doesn't, he can't really beat T-Tar. Um, and we've, I mean, a Gastrodon can swap in against this thing pretty decently. But if it will get worn down after it takes a knockoff, so we have to watch out for that. Uh, like I said, Life Orb, this thing's gonna hit really hard. And last but not least, he has a Zapdos, a uh, freaking 100% accurate thunders off a of base 125 attack. Also has 100 speed, 85 defense, 90 in its HP attack and special defense. Like I said, it gets agility, it can baton pass, it gets ancient power, um, gets discharge, extra sensory heat wave. It gets your roost, so it has reliable recovery. Like thunder, 100% rain in the rain. Uh, Thunderbolt, thunder wave, U-turn, uh, volt switch. So this thing has options. Um, can be really bulky. Bulky for Zapdos is probably one of the most annoying things to deal with. Just because typing wise, it's really good, and like it's 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 scary. Uh, it's scary. So yeah, that's that team. Um, what I think he's gonna bring, if I had to write it out right now, is his. Oh, whoops. Definitely Mega Swampert. He's gonna bring that. He's gonna bring his Politoed. He's gonna bring his Toxicroak. He's gonna bring his Weavile. And his Grand Bull. And finally, what was that last thing I said? Oh yeah, Bronzong. Bronzong. I think these I think these are really good sets. Uh, I think this team right here, this Zix, Mega Swampert, Politoed, Toxicroak, Weavile, Grand Bull, Bronzong are all coming. Um Mainly because we don't have Swampert, it's really hard to swap into. We don't have a swap into Toxic Croak. Oh, Bronzong, Walzar, Mega Altaria. Granbull can um, do good work with its Intimidate, so it can negate like our Dragon Dances. Weavile is a really good cleanup Pokemon, and like I said, we have no swap into Toxic Croak. But that's that team. We are going to go over the team we have brought. So, first glance, I realized he had a lot of Psychic types, and then as I kept looking, he does not have a good check to our Miss Magius. Blair is here with a Choice Scarf, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Psychic, and Dazzling Gleam. We hit almost everything on his team for super effective damage. We 2 hit KO everything on his team, which is very nice. So this thing can definitely come in its uh, cleanup at the end. That's its purpose. Um, Shadow Ball is there for just general stab. Energy Ball is there for all of his water types, which he has a lot of. Dazzling Gleam is for his... Um, it's mainly there for the um, Weavile and the... Uh, What's it called? Kingdra. So we can hit and Noivern, so we can hit those for super effective damage. Finally, Psychic is there only for the Toxic Croak because we can't Elko him otherwise, but Psychic does, so that's interesting to know if it comes down to that and he doesn't have Sucker Punch. If he has Sucker Punch, then it's not well for us. But um, yeah, Blair's here. First week it's going to be brought, so hopefully it can put in some work. Up next, we have Cindy the Gastrodon. Came in off last week, did a really good job walling. Um, and we're going to need to do some more walls with Scald, Earth Power, Amnesia, and Recover. Pretty sure Amnesia is the one that boosts your special defense. It is, so it is. Um, max HP, max defense, a little in like the foreign special attack for the extra. If we can get an Amnesia up, we're going to be eating hits all day. Uh, we can then Recover up, we can Scald, Earth Power. We can just do all that shenanigans. I was thinking about running a uh, max special defense and then... Um, what's it called? Uh... Acid Armor, but this set kind of handles this team a little bit better. It does handle the Mega Swampert. We don't have to set up to take it on. Um, we do negate one of its stabs in Waterfall, which is interesting to know. Uh, Politoed can't Scald us either, so a lot of his team that's typically going to be like Scald, Hydro Pump, can no longer do that because of our Storm Dream. So he must have to prep around that. He's probably going to have a lot of like grass coverage. But after a uh, Amnesia, we take like 30% from an HP Grass, which is interesting to note. So, up next we have Ambipom 3 Sum holding a Choice Scarf. We have a lot of Choice uh, Pokemon, just because this team is very fast, and we need to we need that power behind our team. Rocking the Technician uh, Choice Scarf with Double Hit, Knock Off, Seed Bomb, Ice Punch. Double Hit allows us to co-oko the Alkazam, even if he's sashed, instead of 
um, fake out and then not being able to outspeed. Seed Bomb will do a, I think, like 80%, 90% to the Mega Swampert, uh, does a lot to Politoed. Ice Punch does, um, kills the Noivern, which we will outspeed. Uh, this thing will outspeed the entire team, even the Swampert in the rain, as long as he's adamant. If he's Jolly, we're going to have a hard time, we will outspeed, but he can no longer kill us. No, I think at Jolly we still outspeed, it's Celebi that we don't, we won't outspeed. We'll get to that in a second. Um, this thing is mainly to put some holes in his team, like, if Ambipump can get a surprise kill on that Alakazam, um, that would be inter that would be so good. Um, I wanted to run beat up, but double hit is just really good stab, and it hits his entire team. Um, if this was like a crocodile, I'd run beat up, but it's since it would be stab, but um, double hit just hits harder in general against his entire team. So seed bomb, like I said, hits all of his grass types and ice punch. I mean water types. And ice punch can just blow his Noivern away. And Noivern's gonna be hard to deal with, but I feel like we're all right. So Amy Palm also first week it's coming, make it a male. There we go. Make sure this is all right. So yeah, that's all good. Uh, next we have Celly Babe. The Celly Babe coming off five kills last week, and I expected to get um, a few more this week. Rocking Giga Drain, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic Shadow Ball. Again, this thing can just come in. It just hits very hard, just because his team's pretty frail. Um, Giga Drain's gonna hit. Um, hit us out of like Bronzong, Zapdos, you know, Gramble. Giga Drain is going to O-Coat the Mega Swampert. Um, I was thinking about Leaf Storm, but if Giga Drain's gonna pick up the KO, I don't see the re reason not reason to bring it. Because then we're taking a special defense drop, and that's just baits in the Weave Isle. Um, Giga Drain, like I said, always. We will, this set will outspeed an adamant Swampert in the rain. Not a Jolly, but if he's not adamant, then we are taking hits like champions. Um, outside of that, a natural cure, which means we can get Thunder Waved from like everything, and we will be perfectly fine. So nothing to really worry about there. Um, I don't know what I just said. I was rambling. So hopefully I didn't. <laughs> I was doing good. I just kind of like got lost, but oh well. Up next we have Godzilla, the Tyranitar, rocking the Choice Band Sandstream, the Crunch, Stone Edge, Pursuit, Stealth Rocks. Um, between Crunch and Stone, Stone Edge, we hit his entire team. Uh, maybe I should take this off and put something on there for Gramble. I mean, we're not going to stay in against Gramble. What's the point? Like, I'm pretty sure Stone Edge does more than an Iron Head. I'll have to calc it. If I, I'll, I'll tell you guys if I swap it out. I only put Stealth Arcs on here because, like I said, I did not have a single move to know what else to put. But I'll let you know if I put Iron Header there or not. Um, if it's, like, minimum damage, then I'm not going to do Well, Stone Edge, let's see. Stone Edge is base 100, goes to 150. Iron Head goes to 160 because it's super effective. So it's not worth it, in my opinion. Unless it's missing out on a 2 KO, then I will, but... Yeah, rocking on enough HP to live a... I mean, rocking a lot of speed. Uh, just enough to outspeed... What were we outspeeding? Uh, Shoutouts to Greg. He helped me at uh, Team Prep. We were outspeeding Politoed. Um, just so we can outspeed the Politoed. Actually, I don't want to outspeed the Politoed. What am I doing? Because if I don't... Because then if we... No, I don't think that matters. Hopefully we just don't both lead with this. And then he gets the rain up. If we both lead with this, then that's going to be interesting. But it's all good. Um... I'm second guessing myself because I'm nervous because we don't have a good matchup. But yet, broke uh, choice by the tie. T tar is going to hit like a truck. Nothing can really swap into this thing. Um, again, it gets revenge killed, but we can preserve it and so on and so forth. Last but not least, we have Nimbus the Mega Altaria. We cannot. If we can't. We just can't not bring Mega Altaria this week. It just puts on so much pressure outside of Bronzong. So if we can handle Bronzong, we'll be fine. Um. Rocking uh, 248 HP, uh, 136 defense. This will allow us to take like 49% max from a Ice Punch, which means we can then Roost, Up, Dragon Dance, Cotton Guard, all that shenanigans, and return. Um, outside again, outside of Bronzong, he does not have a swap into this thing. And if we can get the Bronzong worn down enough to where Return will 2 a KO and then Gyro Ball won't kill us, I will 100% take that all day. Um, because sucker, we resist both of Toxic Croak's main priority. It's outside of Bullet Punch, which I mean, if he brings, he's a god. But um, he can't bring Sword Stance. Well, he can, but Sword Stance Bullet Punch will actually hurt. Never mind. I was gonna say he can't bring Sword Stance um, and Bullet Punch because he wouldn't have the coverage he needs. But he actually can. So I'm lying to you guys. I'm sorry. But again, uh, Cotton Guard Dragon Dance Roost Return. Uh, if we can get like two or three Dragon Dances up in a Cotton Guard, we should be set. Uh, Again, we avoid the two hit KO with this set with Ice Punch from an adamant Swampert, so we should be good. So, I mean, it's going to hurt, but we can take one and roost up. Um, eventually, he'll run out of Ice Punches, hopefully, uh, by the time we set up. So, I'll probably, like, take one, 
Like, especially if he swaps in against... Like, I come in, and he comes in. Let's say we make a double swap, or we both lead it. There's a chance I leave Altaria... I lead Altaria, too, and just try to set up and just blow him away. Because I don't have a good, like, lead. I don't know what I'm going to lead with. I'm rocking four choice to... Uh, per, four choice to Pokemon, Nimbus, and then Ascendee, so... I might lead T-Tar instead of Stealth Rocks and then immediately swap, just so he doesn't realize I'm choiced, which is which would be interesting. You might think, well, like, I'm a berry or something, so that is that. Um, yeah, oh, uh, this is going to be a tough one, guys, but I feel like we can pull it off. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, question of the day. By the time you're seeing this, uh, Sun and Moon have, would have came out, would be a day out already. So um, who would you choose as your starter? Yeah, who'd you choose as your starter? Um, let me know, and I will, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know why I said that three times, but I'm just rambling. Like I said, this is just I'm just stressed right now. So hope you guys. Oh my God, I'm always about to say it again. I'll see you guys later. Bye.